Several months ago, I released a video in which I told people that if they were patient, that there would be a period on the horizon in which they would be able to pick up some really awesome books at much more favorable prices than what we've seen for the last couple of years. And at the time that I released that video, the inflation rate had just reached 7.9%. And presently, the inflation rate is sitting at 8.6%, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics. And as I said then, and I'll say it again now, anytime people's discretionary income is being absorbed to pay for gas and food, that means that there is less money available to spend on things like comics. Comics are purchased with discretionary funds. What's left over after you've paid the bills and done other things that you have to do in your life. And as a result of more money going towards those other things, that's less money that is going towards comics. And as a result of that, we are starting to see the values and the prices of comics come down. And there is the possibility that we're going to see them come down even further, especially when you consider that the Fed has raised the interest rate by 75 basis points. All of this stuff has an impact on the values and prices that we see with comics. Now, if you are a buyer, if you've kept your powder dry, this could be a very good time to pick up some comics. Now, the question is, where where is the bottom? No one knows that, right? It is impossible to predict the stock market. It is impossible to time and predict what is going to happen with comics. But if you pay attention to the numbers, what you will see is that the value and the prices of comics are coming down. And in this video, what I want to do is to highlight a couple of books that have been hot that might be cooling off that you might want to consider picking up if these are ones that have been on your radar. Now, there's a ton of other books out there that could be on this list, and I would definitely encourage you to do a little bit of research and see if you can find some other books that fall you know, that, that fall into this category of now is the time to buy. And in a second, we're going to get to some of those books. But before we do, I definitely want to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And that will put you in a position to not miss out on any of the content that comes out from the channel. With that said, let's take a look at a couple of books. So the first book that we're going to look at is Uncanny X-Men issue number 266. And this is an early appearance of Gambit. It is also his first cover. And it is also a book that has been on my want list for quite some time. I have uh, not a 9.8 in the collection, but I've, I've wanted a 9.8 for quite some time, but I haven't yet picked this book up. And, and you'll probably see why here in a moment. But there are a lot of copies of this book on the CGC census, almost 20,000 total copies graded with about 17,000 of those being a universal blue label. And again, we are looking at the 9.8. When you look at the data chart, what you see is that this book at the beginning of this year was sitting at about $981.74. At present, this book has a, a value of about $880.30 which is about a $100 delta. When you look at the FMV, it's, it's kind of sort of right in line with the overall value at about $880. But the real story for this book comes into play when you start to look at some of where this book has been priced. Uh, the one year average for this book is $973, but the high water mark is $2,100. For various reasons, sellers have been asking for really high prices for this book going back at least a year. And that is part of the reason why I have not picked this book up. This book has had a value of around $1,000, but I've seen people asking as much as $1,500 for this book. And again, that's part of the reason why I haven't picked it up because the asking prices and the value were not necessarily in alignment. When you look at the 90 day average, you can see that it has fallen a little bit from the one year from 973 down to 921, but your high water mark is about $1,000, about half of what it was a year ago. 
you can see that there is a, a fall off. Again, as we look at what's been happening for the last 30 days, you can see its average price is about $873. The low is about $819 and the high is still about $1,000. So uh, just a really awesome book, but for some reason or another, this is one that people do not want to let it go for what it's actually worth. They are going to try to get some extra money out of it. But as you can see from what's happening with this trend, uh, this could be a book that might continue to tumble. Uh, I can tell you that I personally believe that this book has some long-term value. And, and there are a couple of reasons for this. Gambit is a fan favorite. There is the animated cartoon for the X-Men that is going to come back at some point. Uh, Gambit was an important character in that original series when it ran. We have yet to see the X-Men in the MCU. And as I mentioned, Gambit is a fan favorite. So there is the possibility that we could see some Gambit action. At one point in time, there was actually a movie that was being worked on by Chris Claremont that I think has been shelved. Uh, but that could have happened because they actually have some bigger plans for Gambit versus a standalone movie. So it would be interesting to see what happens with this one. This again is not necessarily a bad price if you're able to get it for that price versus historically what people have been asking for uh, upwards of a of a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars, which I think is a little crazy. So just a, a really cool book that I wanted to put out there uh, for people to uh, to think about. So let me go ahead and uh, share my screen one more time, and we'll take a look at a another book. This one is actually going to be a Star Wars book. This one is Darth Vader issue number three. This is a uh, first appearance of a couple of characters, and I do believe that this is probably the the hotter of the books in this particular uh, series. But a, a really cool uh, Adi Granoff cover here. Uh, this book was released back in March of 2015. You can see here from the data that there are a healthy number of copies of this book on the census, around 6,200 um, uh, copies of this book with about 6,000 of them at Universal Blue Label. We are specifically going to look at the 9.8. When it comes to these modern books, I prefer to look at what's happening with 9.8. But you can see some pretty interesting things here happening with the, the value of this book. It has definitely been going up. Uh, back in 2021, this book was selling for about Five hundred dollars, and uh, in twenty twenty two, in January specifically, the book was still sitting at about five hundred and seven dollars. Uh, but what you see when you look at the current value, this book has fallen to about three hundred and seventy three dollars, which is a, a couple of hundred dollars off, uh, or a, a couple of hundred dollar delta between the two. When we glance over here at what's happening, you can see that the book has a current fair market value of about $350. Um, looking a little further, you can see that the one-year average for this book was around $433. That high watermark is ridiculous. I mean, $1,100 for this book. And again, all this data is coming from Go Collect. You can see that that high watermark has held uh, relatively strong from, uh, from one year out to about 90 days while your your average price has has been maintained at roughly $430. Over the last 30 days, the book has dropped off to about $374 with a low of $336, but a high of $429. But that $429 is, is, is a ways off from where this book was sitting at about $1,100. Star Wars generally is super hot right now for lots of different reasons. And if this is a book that has been on your radar, you know, for one reason or another, this potentially is a good time to pick this book up, especially again, if it's something that you've had your, your eyes on for a while. Yeah, but not a bad book, not a bad book. So again, I wanted to show that one, what that one to folks, because again, Darth Vader and uh, Star Wars is, is super hot right now. I just finished watching uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, the latest uh, installment of that one. So the next book that I want to show you is another book that has been hot. And I think that this book also has some potential, uh, despite what the price actually 
is for this book, I think that it has some potential and it's actually a little shocking to see where this book is sitting right now. This is the Savage She-Hulk issue number one, the origin of She-Hulk and also the first appearance of this character. Uh, this book was released when? Uh, 1980, January of 1980. And again, we're going to look at the 9.8 for this book. And I'll zoom in here. There are roughly uh, 12,000 copies of this book on the census with about 11,000 or so of those being universal. Uh, not exactly surprised at, at that at all. So let's see if we can find the beginning of the year. So January 2022, this book was selling for $1,300, $1,300. And at present in June, this book is selling for $865. That is about a $450 delta between uh, the start of the year and where this book is presently sitting. That is a, a nice little fall off of this book. And again, it's a little shocking when you think about the fact that the She-Hulk uh, series is going to be starting later this year on Disney+. Plus. So that is a very interesting price to see for this book especially I think because of how people received the trailer. There were a lot of people that didn't necessarily like some of the CGI that was seen in that early trailer, but generally speaking, the She-Hulk uh, trailer was well-received. It was generally well-received by folks out there. But when we look at some of these additional details here, you can see that the current FMV is sitting at about $850. Uh, one year average is about $1,100. The high watermark 2000, which is crazy. That is that is a crazy, crazy price for Savage She-Hulk. Uh, you can see that the low is uh, a, a one year low is $450. The 90 day average for this book is $961. The high watermark has fallen uh, about 500 bucks to $1,500. And the, uh, the low is sitting at 700. Uh, looking at the 30 day, you can see it's it's kind of it's falling, but holding somewhat steady, right? Your 30 day average for this book is nine hundred and twenty six dollars. High is still about fifteen hundred. The low is still around seven hundred. Again, this is a book that I think has some potential. I think that it has some potential uh, because the 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 series for She Hulk on Disney Plus has yet to be released, and so it, there is the possibility that this book could have a nice run up as we get closer to the release of that series. And you can see here that back in May of 2021, uh, this book was selling for $1,500. And again, January 2022, this book was selling for $1,300. And right now you're sitting at about $865. So uh, there, there is the possibility that if you're able to find this book for a fair price, that if, if you were to buy it to sell it, there's some margin there. But if more importantly, if this is a book that you've wanted in your collection, this could be a good time to pick it up, especially if you're able to pick it up for the value that is being seen on the screen right now. All right. So uh, one other book that I want to show you all, uh, this has been a book that, that has had uh, some ups and downs, some highs and lows as uh, the various rumors about this book and this character have circulated over the last couple of years. I want to say I picked this book up back in maybe 2018, 2019 or something like that. I picked up like a 7.5 of this one. So uh, this is Fantastic Four issue number 67. This is a, a cameo appearance of him later to be named Adam Warlock. Really cool book. And as I mentioned, a lot of speculation about this book because uh, I do believe that this character, Adam Warlock, is going to be appearing in Guardians of the Galaxy 3 whenever that is released. There are presently only 3,200 copies of this book on the census with about 3,000 copies uh, being a, oh, wait a minute, am I looking at the, yeah, 3,000 of these copies being a universal uh, blue label. And so I want to look at the 7.5 of this book and we can see what's happening here. And let's see if we can find the beginning of the year. Beginning of the year, this book was selling for about $767. And uh, at present in June, it is selling for about $510. That is about a $250 delta 
uh, from where the book started at the beginning of the year. The fair market value for this book is sitting at about $500. One year ago, the book was selling for about six seventy. dollars uh, High is about $900. The 90-day average has fallen slightly to about $600, so about a $70 delta between the two. The, the high is $720. You see the low there at $510. Uh, the 30-day is actually at the low at $510. So, and then your high is about $510. Your low is about $510. So there you go. That, that's where this book is sitting. Um, and again, I, I think that this is a book that that has some potential. It has some potential just because of the fact that Adam Warlock is eventually going to appear in the MCU. We don't know what the future holds for that character. Uh, they may actually introduce him in Guardians of the Galaxy and if well received, go on to include him in some other things. And so uh, we don't quite know what the future holds for this character, but this is one of those books that is associated with a character that is going to appear and potentially the value of this book will go up. But the other more important thing is that if this is a book that you've wanted to add to your collection, now might not be a bad time to actually pick it up uh, and, and pay a lot less for it than what you would otherwise if, if, a, if, you know, James Gunn says something about Adam Warlock. If a trailer comes out featuring Adam Warlock, you will see the price of this book start to go up as a result of that. So that was basically the last book that I wanted to show you guys. And again, I wanted to kind of uh, walk through this because now in many ways is a great time to, to pick up some awesome books because those books are much more affordable than what we were seeing earlier this year and certainly more affordable than what we saw over the last couple of years. With that said, I'm going to wrap this video up. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I definitely want to encourage you to do so. Go ahead and tap the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and that way you won't miss out on any of the content that comes out from the channel. Take care. Rolling, 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 rolling.